Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to explore the concepts of Cache API in Drupal 8 or 9. So for that, I have again I'm going to use the same module called Drupal Hacks, which is a custom module to experiment or explore Drupal related stuff. Uh, in this video, we have a blog called uh, Drupal Hacks Custom API. Cache API example block and inside this block we are simply displaying a random string and for that the code is like this pretty simple now uh, let's let's open this in incognito so on opening uh, this in, in incognito if I refresh this you can see the the random string is 892 and refreshing it again and again and again and it is not getting uh changed it is the same and if i open any other page uh it will be same 892 892 so which means it is being cached by the uh drupal this is for anonymous and this would happen same for the uh, logged in user so let's log in i have a test user i'm going to log in and then you would see 894 it has changed now let's go to other page 894 again and the other page 894 again so for anonymous user the uh, the data of the blog stays the same so th that is caching now let's log out and then uh, play with this this how to change how to cache how to invalidate it um, so in uh, caching API in Drupal we have three methods for doing so uh, First is cache tags, second cache context, and third is max age. So uh, cache in tags are used to uh, tell how am I going to uh, invalidate uh, my cached data. For example, let's let's handle this with the help of example. Since we are returning a renderable array here. So like any other uh, renderable error by using the rend renderable cache render cache uh, cache API, we can define how we are going to implement cache on this block through the help of this array or render renderable array. So let's go with this. So. Uh, for like any other element cache is uh, an element of this renderable array and inside this let's understand the concepts of tags with the help of an example so let me decide this set this tags to an array uh, of node dot let's say 12 or 1 uh, and that is it uh, since you didn't yeah Okay, cool. So here I'm setting cache uh, array uh, to contain tags element, which is defined to contain an associative ar uh, an array, uh, which is having an element node colon one. And what does it mean? Let's under let's see the example first, and then I'll explain you. So we have seen that the block was staying constant the data of the block was staying constant no matter what i was doing on or which page i was browsing now let's uh, create a node let's say basic page type and name it as test cache tags and save it let's save it and then go to our page let's see it is still 892 892 892 it is not getting changed now in my cache uh, uh, tags let's change it to the id of this node is 13 so let's change it to 13 and now let's yeah now let's go so before that we have made changes in our our custom blog let's clear the cache okay done 
I'm going to go to the block and then let's go and refresh it. Since we have cleared the cache, obviously we are going to see a different data. Now it is 637. Let's refresh it again. And now it is, uh, it, it is 637 again and again. So it is not getting changed. Uh, again, we have made a uh, we have set our tags to node column 13. And what it is representing, let's go to our 13 node and save it. So we are updating it. Uh, now let's go to our block and then refresh it. You'd see that our data for the block has changed. So this is called invalidation. Through tags, we are simply telling uh, Drupal to invalidate whenever there is any update or deletion uh, or anything change happening to this entity of a node type and ID is 13. So if I change any other node, let's let's go to any other node and change that because we have seen on changing node number 13, node, I, node with ID 13, it was the data was getting ref, uh, changed. Now I'm changing node with ID 12 and saving it. Let's go. It is 573. Let's refresh it and it will be 573. Why it is not getting changed? Because our cache, the data of this block is being cached and we have told Drupal to invalidate it on node 13 only. Uh, so this is about cache and uh, for example, if I want to change uh, the data of the the block on, on something else, for example, on on changing on if there is any change in any node, then how would I do that? For doing that, I would simply write it as node list, and then let's clear the cache because we have made change in our code. Let's go see it is 872. I'm going to refresh it. It is 862. Uh, let's refresh it and see it is not getting changed. Let's go to our uh, content section and now let's update any node. Mm, be it 2 node with ID 2. Let's update it and then see if it is getting changed. It is 862 and it will be changed. So we have defined our cache tag to be node list. Uh, so we can define it to be anything, anything like entity and list. So it can be any entity. Similarly, uh, like we did for node. 13 sorry node 13 we can do for any other node it can be any entity and the id of entity it can be for example it could be user with user id 13 so if there is any change in the user uh, with id 13 uh, then our cache would be invalidated so there this is about cache tags and I'll keep it node list. Second thing is okay. The second thing is cache context. Cache context are uh, let's understand this with uh, for example. Let me set the cache context to be uh, let's see before that how it is reflecting it is 682 and if i go to another page it will be 682 so the data is not getting uh, changed and if i want to change on every url how would i do that it would not happen with the help of tags because te tags help us in invalidating let me write But uh, for deciding when our code, uh, when this logic will be re-evaluated, that, uh, that is being decided with the help of context. So if I change, uh, add a uh, array element to this context to be URL, and let's see what it will do. Before that, let's clear the cache.
and earlier we were seeing that uh, on no matter on which page we were going the data was not getting changed now if i refresh it obviously since we have cleared the cache the data we will see some change in the data now if i refresh it the data is still 141 but if i go to any other page let's say home page it is 141 let's see what it will be it is 956 so data is getting changed on the base of the url so if there is, there is any change in the url the data will be changed that is being decided by the context uh, for so contexts are used to tell when are we going to re-evaluate our uh, logic for rendering the or making the renderable array uh, this can be an uh, anything else for example this can be route this can be uh, on the basis of user dot permission so this can be uh, so there is a list of all the context available we can check out that list for obviously from the Drupal side Drupal you can for example So here you can see uh, we have a list of uh, context available and we can set the context to these. Now uh, we have understood context, we have understood uh, tags. Now let's explore the third section which is maxage. So for maxage, the data is 141 and it is being changed when we are uh, making any change in any node or uh, switch into any UR, uh, different url now what if i want to uh, refresh this data on every 10 seconds that can cannot be that is not possible with the help of tags and context obviously for that there is a third concept called maxage let's set it to sorry it is not going to be array n and then let's clear the cache and let's go to our so i have logged in uh, so let's refresh it there is 537 i have a timer let's start the timer then you would see it is still 556 let's change it it's done now let's refresh it you would see it is getting changed sorry so you would see it is getting changed on every 10 seconds so this is what maxage is for so max is defines uh, the maximum age of our cache data and after that uh, uh, that time the cache is going to be uh, invalidated uh, so so this is about caching api the prime three concepts or uh, topics of caching api uh, thank you